हेलो माय स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू दिस ऑनलाइन क्लास इन दिस वीडियो वी शुड लर्न अबाउट ज्योग्राफी दैट इज चैप्टर वन रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ज्योग्राफिकल फीचर्स सेटलमेंट पैटर्न्स व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट सेटलमेंट पैटर्न देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सेटलमेंट्स The first one is nucleated, or it is also known as clustered, or it is also known as compact. The settlements are shown in red color. These types of settlement will be shown very close to each other. For example, permanent huts, post office, hospital, school, temple, and mosque. All these. man made things which are shown in red color are close to each other so they will be called as nucleated the second type of settlement is that linear the settlements which are found on either side of a river or road they have good communication facilities which help in developing trade so i'll be showing you with the example on the topo sheet after that so first you remember the definition the linear type of definitions will be shown either side of a river or road and they are well connected with metal roads which help in developing trade third type of settlement pattern is known as scattered or it is known as dispersed or isolated they are shown far away from each other and they are found in remote places now let us discuss one by one how this settlement patterns are shown on topographical map the first one is nucleated you can see the red boxes are settlements and this red boxes are shown close to each other you can see one example that is given in your textbook the settlement is nucleated because it's a town dhantrai which the red boxes are shown close to each other so we can interpret and say that it is coming under nucleated pattern or nucleated settlement pattern you would observe that these are very close to each other so they will be termed as nucleated the next one is linear linear means the settlements which are found on either side of a river or road you can see the road that is passing through and once one side can be also shown but either side of the road can be also shown with the red boxes and that you would understand that it is linear settlement pattern the red boxes can be shown along the road or across the river you can see on your a textbook that is given dholpura uh, it is dhavli so you can see it is a river over there passing through it and beside that settlement pattern is there so this will be called as linear settlement pattern on the topo sheet the next one is scattered settlement when we are able to interpret scattered settlement remember the definition they are shown far away from each other this red boxes are shown far away from each other that means they are not close together so you can see on the diagram they are shown far away from each other so they will be called as scattered settlement in your textbook you can see the red boxes it will be so small so you can see the red boxes are not close they are scattered they are shown far away from each other so when you are asked to 
interpret what type of settlement is this in this grid you would be writing scattered settlement so conventional signs of settlement patterns you'd see the red boxes complete red box will be termed as permanent huts and the red boxes which are outline of red box are known as temporary huts they are very rare and they are very common so you could say all together types of settlements these are known as nucleated because the settlements are very close to each other and they are known as linear because they are drawn across the road they are located or situated across the both the side of road and they are termed as scattered because they are far away from each other we have one more thing to discuss is that direction of urban cities here you can see for example direction of karja from rampura is shown in the extracted topo sheet so karja is here and rampura is here on the topo sheet when you see or on the map or any plain paper this is the pattern of directions always top will be considered as north bottom will be considered as south your right side will be east and your left side will be west and in between this main direction there are division of four more directions north east in between it is known as northeast north west in between known as northwest and between south and east it is known as southeast and between south and west it is known as south west so let us see how the question may be coming uh, for finding out the direction what is the direction of karja from rampura so question is asked direction of karja from rampura so what you have to do is in rampura you imagine that there is a direction of that or you can draw this if you are finding difficult to locate the direction of the place so you can draw here you can see the point of it will be coming on rampura so it will be in this directions that means from here it is coming towards this direction so karja is in northeast directions so answer will be northeast now remember the keywords two words you need to remember the word of and the word from so it is asked direction of karja from rampura so from place you have to make directions or imagine direction to find out of the other village or town that is karja so these were the few concept that we discussed and with this the chapter is finished so in the next video i shall give you the question answers any doubt any queries please do ask whatsapp personally thank you so much for watching this video so patiently hope you are doing well stay safe stay healthy thank you so much